Good evening guys, it's John here, you small town door dasher. How's everybody doing today? Hope everybody's doing well, being safe, making lots of money. That's the whole thing, that's the whole point of it. Have fun, be safe, make lots of money. Doing good, that's the point. Today I'm going to throw out a few tips and tricks on make, maximizing your money. Number one, set goals. If you want to make $100 a day, run till you hit $100 a day. Don't stop at 50 and say, ah, I'm tired, I'm going on. Run till you hit that $100. Set goals and stick with them. If you want to put $20 worth of gas in your car and run it out and quit, run that $20 out and quit. Don't. Just run $10 of it out say, I, I, I think I'm done for the day. Stick with your goals. If you want to make $20 an hour, try your damnedest to make $20 an hour. It's not always going to work out to where you make $20 an hour, but it will, it can very easily average out to be that. I mean, you know, you're going to have a slow hour and then you're going to have a real busy hour. And those two will balance each other out. But let's use the $20 an hour goal for just a moment. And talk about order selection. Order selection is the big thing. That's one of the biggest things in you making money is how you pick your orders. You need to see how far they go. See what restaurant they come from. Make sure it's not a long waiting restaurant. Know what I mean. Make sure you can pick the order up and have it dropped off in 15 minutes. If it's a five dot four mile five dollar order, that is the goal to have that done within 15 minutes. You can usually do them better than that, especially if it's a four mile five dollar order. Things to take into account are restaurant wait times. We'll get into that in just a minute. Traffic, weather, school zones, trains. Don't forget the trains. Every time I have an order that goes across railroad tracks, there's a train coming almost every single time. Accept those orders and you're golden. Speaking of orders, 3.8 miles for 550. I will take that all day long. Turn right onto Park Street, then turn But yes. Okay, now we've talked about choosing your orders. Now let's break that down even further. Wait times. Restaurant wait times are a big, really a big issue here in this town anyway. I don't know about your market, it may be different, but I have a heck of a time with wait times in some places for sure. But if you pick, take that $4, four mile, $5 order, and it's from a restaurant that typically makes you wait 20 minutes, 30 minutes for an order, just skip it and go to the next one. If you accept that order and say it's a Wendy's order and the dining room's closed or only running their drive through and the drive through's wrapped all the way around the building, you may as well go ahead and unassign it because you're not going to have it done in 15 minutes. The long, about the longest you can wait to have an order done uh, Four miles, five dollars, about the longest you can wait is going to be eight to ten minutes. Ten minutes is kind of really kind of pushing your luck, but I'm pretty sure you could get it there in five. So if it ain't ready in ten minutes, unassign and go to the next one. This is very important. 
if you want to make so much an hour, this is how you do it. Next thing, after you get done, if, if your order is, say, eight miles, ten dollars, about the longest you can wait for it would be 20 minutes. That would give you 10 minutes to get it dropped off, and then you've got the next 30 minutes for another for 10 more dollars, however it counts. But order selection and wait. If you get a $15 order for 13 miles, which in my opinion it is an acceptable order usually, but it takes you 10 to 12 miles out of your zone, then stuck driving 10 to 12 miles back into your zone not getting orders so you've got to think about that if you live somewhere that has an interstate that goes all the way through town and that order goes somewhere where you can hop back on the interstate and be back in your zone in eight to ten minutes then okay that still probably not gonna get you where you need to be but that's good where I live there's not an interstate that really runs through town so I end up on backcountry roads going 30 miles an hour getting behind tractors and shit and it takes me you know 20 minutes to get back to my zone sometimes that's something you've got to watch out for that's I'm not saying don't accept it I'm just saying be mindful of it if you want to make $20 an hour that's something to be mindful of. okay where you end up after your order I mean like I was talking about the 10 mile order or the 13 mile $10 order okay let's say that's a ends up being a eight mile ten dollar order and it goes from one end of town to the other but there's restaurants on that other end of town then that's good that puts you still in your zone right next to another set of restaurants where you're more likely to get an order that is very helpful where you end up is just about as important as where you start out as far as getting your next order is concerned when you get to your drop-off, be ready. When you get about four-tenths of a mile away from the customer, go ahead and put your mask on. As you're pulling in the driveway, go ahead and get your hand sanitizer out and start sanitizing your hands. If you do that every order like I do. Bear, bear those things in mind, too. Every little bit helps make up time. I mean, it does. You don't... You may not think so, but it really does. Okay, I'm here at McDonald's to pick up this order. I'll be back with you in a couple of minutes. Okay, guys, I'm back. Getting ready to go drop this order off. I know some of you multi at, but not everybody does, especially in this town, because the only other game in town is Uber Eats, and they don't hold much of the market here. It's mostly DoorDash, so... What are you guys doing between your, during your orders to make ends late? I don't understand. Because I've done several drop-offs that customers say, well, you're the quickest dasher I've ever had. I mean, I understand sometimes you're going to have a stack order and you have to drop another order off and then do a, drop two orders off. And I understand that's going to put you a little bit behind, but I'm hearing people talk about waiting... 15 20 minutes from the time that they their dasher confirmed pickup till they got the order and just i don't get it the only time i stop at all between pickup and drop off is if i am about to run out of gas i will try not to have to get gas during the dash if i can help it but sometimes it can't be helped sometimes i push it too far don't lollygag around pick Go straight to your restaurant pick up, pick up, go straight to your customer drop off and right back on. That's the way to make 
снимаю. I know that things have changed a lot over the past year on DoorDash. As far, even as far as, you know, having to rely, if you're not a top dasher, you have to rely on scheduling more than you used to. There's a lot more dashers now, and it's not as easy just to come to town and click dash now as it once was. Schedule your dashes six days ahead, like the app will allow you at three o'clock or three thirty, whichever it is in your market. Then you're golden. There's nothing to fret about. I don't just try to wait and say, "Well, I'm going to go ahead and try to run now and get to town. It'd be great." I mean, don't do that. Plan ahead. Think ahead. Use your head. Plan ahead, think ahead, use your head. I like that saying. I'm going to, that's, that's my new saying. Well, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, click like. If you made it all the way to the end of my rambling, say hi to me in the comments. Send me an email at smalltowndoordasher at gmail.com. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and Try to get the word out to as many dashers as possible, small town dashers as possible to get all the tips and tricks that they need to be successful. I want all of you to be, be successful. That is my purpose here is to make you successful. I hope you guys have a good day. Make lots of money. Be safe. And remember, plan ahead. Think ahead and use your head. Have a good day.